love. Masha Holland, Glam Mama here. How are y'all on this Saturday? Hmm, I was going to say morning. <laughs> Not morning, Saturday afternoon. Hello. Just going to do eyes. I've already done my face. I've already done my skincare. Had a fabulous mask last night. Hi, Judah. Hey, Patty. Hey, girl. I remembered. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. We're going to do eyes today. I've already done my face. Um, I think, of course, I want to do pink, I think, because I am kind of pinky today. Uh, I haven't quite decided which um, shadows to use, but we're going to do the brows first here after I put my primer on. Primer is a, a must for your face and your eyes. I like my pharmacy primer because it's not runny. It's uh, more of a cream type, but it's a thicker cream. It's not runny at all, so I like that. I feel like I can control it a little better. So anyway, that's what I'm using today. I have others, and they're good. But I like this one. Now look, see, you could actually just not even put anything on your eyes if you wanted to. Kind of gives it a pinky beigey glow or whatever. I am going to use traditional lashes. You know, I've been using magnetic lashes like crazy, and I love them, and I'm always going to wear them. But pharmacy is supposed to get lashes, and I'm not sure what kind they are. So I want to get back into my uh, habit or routine, rather, of doing regular traditional lashes. I don't want to get out of practice with it. That's the time I do, that's when they'll pop up, right? <laughs> Alrighty, that's the primer. Now I'm going to do my brows. Anybody have any questions? You just hop kind of, There I am. Let me, let me check my Wi-Fi real fast. My electricity was off when I woke up today. Hang on, I'm trying to get to my... Let me... Hang on, guys. <gasps> keeps going away. I want to get it down there. Stop it. There. I have no idea what that was about. <sighs> Best to use your brush or finger? Is that a question? Because I use my finger until my uh, product gets down a little bit. And then I don't like to use my finger when it gets lower because it gets in my fingernails. So that's when I use a brush. Yeah. I cover the whole eye, girl. All the way up to my brow. All the way up to my brow. Hi, Cindy. Congratulations on your new girl. Congratulations. Okay, let's do the brows. Just going to use a little bit. A small brow brush and we're gonna use my brow powder today and I love this stuff I love this because I can use it as a shadow also it's just pigment guys so and it's pigmented too Some people say you're supposed to start at the top, and some people say, no, you're supposed to start at the bottom. <sighs> I just start where my brush lands. Yeah. Oh, cut too much there. We'll have to fix that. Alrighty. If you have natural, good-looking brows, bless you. At one point in time, I used to. So I am just filling in here. Also, you can use the brow mascara to set it if you want to. But that's about all I'm going to do. And I'm going to turn this way because my light's different. 
This brow is different too. Shape different, everything about it's different. And I don't know why. I have a friend, her brows are nice and thick. She can just slap some brow mascara on it. It looks great. Cindy, you know Cha-Cha. Her brows are good. Just like they are. How's Hawaii, Miss Cindy? How y'all doing? Across the ocean. I wish we could audibly hear each other talk like a like a video you know I guess we could do a video couldn't we has anybody ever done has anybody ever done a video chat on messenger I wonder how many people you can get on there hang on I see something I'm looking for something up here. Oh, there it is. Don't you fall. Hang on. I see a wild brow. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do to the brows. Any questions about brows? Let me see. Hi, Sonia. How are you today? Memorial weekend. Are you staying home? I miss Judy. I'm staying home. Not going well. Going to a birthday party tomorrow. Hopefully we will do social distancing. I don't know how we're going to manage that though at a restaurant. I'm kind of nervous about going. I don't really want to go. But all my siblings, they want to go. <gasps> Let me see what you're saying. Oh, my finger won't move. Yeah. Brow mascara is cool. Yeah, Cindy, I wondered the same thing. How does that work? Wouldn't it be cool if we could just do this and anybody and everybody could come on and we could talk or see each other? <laughs> I guess it would get out of hand though, huh? Okay, so now, what do I want to use for shadow? We're going to do pink, that's for sure. Let me see what I've got. I have a lot. I should have already picked it out. Here's a pink. Pink and lavender purple not sure if that's what I want though that is a bright hot pink I don't want a hot pink I know let me see what my cream shadow looks like let me, let me, let me see my cream shadow sorry I should have a glamour necklace oh that would be cool could wear on my live videos glamour Okay, let me look. Red glaze. We don't want to do red glaze. I got all of them. <laughs> terrible. I'm terrible. I've run out of stuff to purchase. <clears throat> Here is a pretty one. Pink. Pink glow, I think it is. It's just kind of a basic pink. And let me see this one. Nah. The red glaze, I think it's too much. Let's see here. Pink glow. Keep that one out. The red glaze. Maybe I'll mix the two. Look at that. Mm. Okay, we'll play with those. And I got this. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to use my brow powder as my dimension color. So, let's do the pink. Pink glow. 
and get a clean brush. And the thing about cream eyeshadows, though, you got to know where you want it because, boy, let me tell you, they don't go nowhere once you get them on. So we're just going to do the whole lid. And also, if you more or less tap it with the cream instead of smearing it like that, you could do it either way. But if you tap it, you can control it a little better, I think. So we're just going to do the whole lid, not under the brow, just the eyelid. And that's really kind of a neutral, not very pink, is it? It's okay. Because I usually like to do a uh, base coat anyway. I didn't do it this time, but I normally do. All right. Pink glow. Creamy. Okay. Let's put this aside. <laughs> and let's see what this red glaze is going to do. I'm going to use the same brush. Because I bet that red glaze is going to be red. I hope not. We may have to tone it down with something. We'll see. Gonna start over here in the corner and I'm going very lightly. Because I want to see. I don't use creams very often. I like them. I just don't use them very often. I have so many powder palettes. And I'm going to go in the crease with it. lightly i have hooded eyes so i have to uh come up with a little bit of a trick and an illusion show you what i mean i'm going to come on up with it over the brow over the bone here and blending is the key with any type well, actually, blending is the key, whether you're using foundation, whether you're using blush, eyeshadows, whatever. Blend, blend, blend. Now, we don't want to look sick here, so i got to fix it. Alright, now this is my awkward side here, guys. Awkward, awkward. Tap, tap, tap. Come down under. And the reason I do that is I don't want a gap right here. And crease. I'm going to use my crease as a guideline of how far to go up on that bone. Twirl your brushes around to utilize it. If you don't want a lot of product in a certain area, turn your brush around. Smooth it. A little more over here, right? Didn't look like I had more over there. That's what I said. The lighting is so different. Now, look. If I'm missing something, you guys tell me. When was it? Yesterday, I guess I did a line, and I had a blob over here that I hadn't smoothed out. Nobody said nothing. Okay. All right, we definitely need something. Still looks darker, doesn't it? Maybe not. You see your comments. We'll fix it. We gotta. We gotta fix it. 
I feel lazy today. Hi, Mina. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I lightly do it in the crease, Patty. Very lightly. I just use the uh, crease as my guideline. And this brush I'm using right here is a pharmacy brush. Very dense. It's very easy to control your stuff. And it also has a smudger end on it, which I love. Very inexpensive. Yep. Hey, Bonita. How's your little chickens? Hi, Christina. Hey, Kathy. Hello, everybody. If I'm missing you, hello, hello. Um, not usually all the way up to the brow because I like to highlight the brow up here with my, I use most of the time, I use my, um, Ultimate Smoky palette because I like that white that's in there, Patty. I use this under the brow. I'm going to do that in a minute. I usually do that last. Alrighty. Oh, we need something. Something glittery or something. Let me look. <sighs> you know me. I like glitter. I know I'm not supposed to wear glitter because they say, oh, people are not supposed to wear glitter. Well, fiddle dee dee. I don't care. If you like glitter, wear glitter. It's okay, isn't it? Let's see what this does. This is my uh, Supernova. Just lost something. I just felt it hit my leg. I don't see nothing, though. Okay. So we're going to use... Hang on. There's a pretty kind of a glittery pink in here. I'm going to use it. I don't know which one to use. <gasps> There's a white, too. Let's use the pinky pinky one. Supernova. Let me see. Works better if I take my glasses off. Alright. So we're going to go about three-fourths of the way over. This is baked eyeshadow. Um, baked eyeshadow does excellent if you dampen your brush, which mine is not dampened. Which is okay. And gave it a little more pink. And I'm going to show you what else here. Hang on. I'm afraid something's going on with my eyes. Um, it's been less than a year since I had my eyes checked. And my new glasses really don't work worth a flip. So I don't know. It's hard when you have your eyes examined. How does this look? Is that better? Uh, I don't know. Is that better? Uh, kind of. You know, and then you get your glasses and ugh, you can't see nothing. All right, let me see what this does. I'm going to lighten this up. That's what I want to do. Lighten it up. Anyway, I have cataracts already. And I don't want to have surgery, but waiting as long as I can wait. Number one, you can't wear makeup when you have that eye surgery, for crying out loud. I'll go into seclusion. I'll go into hiding. <laughs> no, the main reason I won't have the cataract surgery is I have this, you may have already heard me say that, I've got this retinal ripple over here. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I don't know how I got it or why I got it or whatever. It's called a retinal ripple. And you can't have cataract surgery with a retinal ripple. They want to do surgery on the retinal ripple first. I can't imagine me laying, sitting there with my eyeball open with them doing stuff to my eyes. I just can't even hardly think about it. <gasps> okay, bye Cindy. Love you. Hi Crystal. Hey Grace. Thank you. I got this at Walmart, you know, and I keep looking every time I go there, which I don't go very often anymore because of the shutdowns, but uh, I always went to their, you know, their headband area. Okay, just looking to see if I missed any questions. My hair is getting where I, I'm getting scissor happy with it. I need a haircut. When my hair starts flipping up, it starts flipping up and I can't control it. Then I get scissor happy. 
and I haven't got patience to wait on a beauty shop appointment. And I don't have a beautician, anywho. I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit more. I'm gonna use some liquid liner, and we're just gonna go over what I just did with this liquid liner. This is in the color Crystal. I like it. I use this a lot whenever I am doing uh, the magnetic lashes, and boy, sometimes I mess up with that liner. <laughs> And I'll take this and just smooth out my rough edges. And it does really good. I like it. We're just going to use regular lashes today. Regular lashes. I don't want to lose my... I don't want to lose my... Uh, my mojo with putting on the glue. I gotta let this dry because it is liquid. You don't have to do this. I just happen to like it. People always tell me, at your age, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Makes me want to do it that much more. <laughs> Hello. I woke up with no electricity. No electricity today. Do you know what runs on electricity? Everything in your house runs on electricity. Yeah. I mean, it was like, and it was probably 1130-ish before they came back on with it. Okay, now let me use my... Ultimate Smoky Palette. This is what I'm going to use on the brow area. Right up here. And that kind of smooths this part out too. If you have any rough parts there, it kind of you can blend it. And then I'm still going to put the uh, brow powder there. Almost ready to do the lashes. Okay, that's all she wrote. Brow powder substituted as a shadow. And I'm going to use the same brush. If you go light to dark, you can use the same brush. Alright, we're going to come right in the immediate corner. I am tapping to start with. And then I'm still going to come up on the crease. Can you see my crease right in here? I use that as a guideline there. Then I'm going to come up. I'm going to go about halfway over with this dark brown about it and then I'm going to come up over the bone and go towards that brow tail like that it kind of helped a little bit the liners and the lashes will make all the difference in the world now I'm going to do the other side tap 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 to start with Gosh, hang on. Oh, it's so hot and humid here today. Oh my gosh. And I hear Dallas. I'm about 100 miles or a little less than 100 miles from Dallas. I hear they had some awful storms. Softball size hail. Maybe that's why my electricity went out. I didn't even know we had a storm if we had one. Better go look at my roof, come to think of it. All right, got to be a little more dimension. Okay. Eyeliner time. 
eyeliner time. What kind of eyeliner do I want to use? Let me see what I got. Oh, gosh. I got everything. Ooh. Uh. I think I got an eyeliner or two. I got silvers. I've got gray. I don't use the gray very often. Maybe I should. And, of course, we've got black. This is dark gray. Maybe I should do the dark gray. Is that gray? That's black. I tell you, I can't see a cotton pen. Dang. There's a gray. I don't think I've ever used that one. Let me look. Let me look. I don't want to miss nothing. It's a gray. You know, it's probably the same gray because I have a horrible time purchasing the same thing over and over and I don't realize I'm doing it until I get it oh gosh well when you have so much good stuff and I don't always have my catalog with me to uh and I don't I'm not always in here where my inventory is so I think oh that's pretty I don't remember that sure enough I got it let me see what you're saying Hi, Esme. Oh, are you in Texas, Patty? No worry about the questions. That's what I'm here for. Hi, Jill. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's let's use a little gray eyeliner here. Then we'll do mascara. Then we'll do um, the lashes. See, I like the, when, when a person looks down, it looks pretty to have that shiny white. It better be gray. Gray and pink. Very good. It's gray. I might use this as on the upper, too. Went on the lash line and then just a little bit in the tear line. Not heavy in the tear line. And you can also tight line a little bit when you do lashes. That helps. Be careful doing this. That used to freak me out when I'd see people do that. Let's see if this will smooth on nice for just the main liner. I will use this as my guideline of where to set my lash on. I do not usually do wings. In fact, I never do wings. It's not that I don't like wings. I love wings. I just don't have the right kind of eye tissue to do wings. So I just quit trying. Don't be afraid, Patty. You can fix anything. Lord, I may have to turn my air conditioner on. Whew, I got my little fan going, but I'm starting to sweat. Listen, I am in East Texas. Let me tell you, it's it humid here. I like a little more over here. Kind of widens your eye up a little bit when you put a little more liner there. I want to smooth it out though. I kind of do, I don't do wings, but I kind of do flip ups, you know, with my uh, pencils and stuff. And smooth it and make it go up. All right. Good enough. That was, what number was that? This is Express Eye Pencil, color 03. We're pretty gray. All right, little mascara. My nose is dribbling. I'm so sorry about that. 
little mascara. Let's do the 3D because that's handy. Handy dandy 3D. Burleson. Okay, Burleson, 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 uh, Burleson. Is that Fort Worth area or whatever, Patty? I have a granddaughter who lives in Fort Worth. I had my hip, hip surgery in Dallas at the UT, oops, the UT areas, hospital areas. Okay, let's do a little bit of, now I, a lot of girls will, uh, hang on. A lot of girls will put <clears throat> eyeshadow on their false lashes. I would suggest you not do that. Uh, anybody I have ever discussed that with says that it will lessen the life of your lashes. So I usually put mine, what's the matter with my nose today? I usually put my mascara on just a little bit um, before I put my lash on. Because if you lose a lash, at least your lashes aren't naked. Pardon me, I get I get mascara everywhere. Thank goodness for Q-tips. Wouldn't be able to survive without them. <laughs> Guys, if I miss your comment during the live, I will always go back and do the. Uh, oh, south of Fort Worth. Okay. I'll always answer your questions. Hi, Nancy. Well, you know, I'm in East Texas. I am in actually about 10 miles from Tyler. So we're kind of in between Texas and Shreveport. We get a lot of like tornado type stuff here. I don't like, but I was born and raised here. So I'm kind of, kind of used to it, but. I don't do a whole lot when I'm using lashes because I don't want to put a whole lot of mascara when I'm using lashes. Don't need to. I'm going to brush these lashes out. Patty, is it as hot up there today as it is here today? Okay, I'm bouncing all over the place. I need some ideas for supper. I ran out of ideas. And I'm going to show you something too before I forget. I watch Wayne Goss a lot. He's a makeup artist in England. He says if you have hooded eyes, you know how people will do the little... Right here in the tear duct area, the little white light, whatever, right here, to open up your eyes. You can see the difference. He says if you have hooded eyes, you want to come over a little more. I don't know if you have hooded eyes, Patty, but I do. So you just kind of come over a little more, and you can see how much that opens up your eyes. See? I'll do this one. And then come on over. Just a little. Just a little. Okay, okay. I think we're ready now. Let's get our glue. It's the thing about magnetic lashes. You don't have to mess with glue, but you still have to mess with the liner, right? So whatever it is you choose to do, whether it be magnetic lashes or whether it would be traditional glue lashes, you have to practice. And today, I'm going to use these lashes. They're from Salon Perfect, and they're called Pre-Permed Push-Ups. That came in a box like this. I thought they were pretty. They're just wispy-like lashes. I like them. If you're just learning how to do lashes, let me tell you, go to Walmart and get you some wispies. 
There's no band on them, and they're easy. They're lightweight. You don't feel them. Hmm. They say, too, if you're looking at a box of lashes, you're looking at a box of lashes, right? And you can't tell the right from the left. They say if you look at the right side over here, this is my right, that that lash is for the left eye. The problem with that, if they don't mark it left, right, then you forget. <laughs> you want to be careful pulling these little things off, too. I don't have any fingernails anymore. You can damage them. And mess them up. See, look at there. You see what I just did? Look at that. See what I just did? Let me fix you, baby. Let me fix you. Sorry. These are kind of curly. I like them. I think they're pretty. Normally, I don't have to trim these lashes. I swear I can't tell left from right on these. Let me look real quick. I think they'll be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna use black. Girl, first time I used black glue, I got it everywhere. This is duo glue. Oh, and you know what? It is messing up too. I don't have any other glue. I need to pick up some more. It's clumping on me. All right, so we're just going to put the glue on the band. I like to hold them with a tool. And it's been a long time since I've used glue this way. My favorite way to do it is to use the glue as an eyeliner. And then just plop the lash on it. Problem is too, black lash, black glue, you can't see what you're doing. Moment of silence. Yeah, buddy, I think my glue is messing up. Is Red Aspen still around? Red Aspen Lash? Because uh, they've got a good glue. I had some sent to me one time. It was good. Alright, I think I'm covered. I don't know, it's hard to tell with black glue. And we got to let it get tacky. Okay. Got to let it get tacky. Let me do the other one. Hi, Erica. Girl, I don't know. I don't even know if they're going to have magnetic lashes. I know they're getting lashes, but I hope they get both. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm having a hard time getting a hold of this little lash. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I don't even know when they're getting the real, the, getting the regular lashes. Do you? Do you know? All right, this one was on the left side, so this one is the right eye. Watch me forget it already. Oh, look, see how that's clumping? Whoa. I need some new glue. I've been using the magnetic stuff from Glamnetic for so long that my glue has gotten messed up. <sighs> there will come a day when I will actually believe that I'm too old to do makeup. It'd be a sad day for me. Yeah, because right now when you do your before and afters and there's a humongous difference, then that is still good. If I put all this on and there ain't no difference, then I'm going to think, uh-oh. <laughs> all right, this one was the left. Let's 
let's put a little lipstick on it and maybe it'll be tacky enough. I think I'm just going to be simple, easy peasy today. Let's use a little bit of... This is a lovely lip gloss. Good color for me. And this is really cool. It comes from Glamnetic. Ah, no, it doesn't. What am I talking about? It comes from um, Gerard Cosmetics. And I have a code. And I'll show you something. Cute little mirror. And a light. And man, this light is an awesome flashlight. <laughs> oh, Bella. Here, my dog. Hush. Okay, now let's see. Left right these are curly all right come on in whatever it's two of you there's one more there you are okay here we go i hope it's tacky enough Let's see if I can even do it. Look down into a mirror. I aim for the center and then wiggle it once I touch my lid. And actually, I am looking for the eyeliner. That, the eyeliner is my guideline of where to sit it. Pretty good. Yeah, if I'm going to have a problem with lashes, though, it's going to be right here in the inside. And I might not have put enough glue on the inside. Or back here. Yeah, I see. Shoot. I need some more glue there. That's going to make it hard once you get the lash on. It's hard to do the glue. Didn't put enough there, so let's just do it this way. Oop. Hang on. Ugh. So awkward. Come on now. Ah! All right. Now, I need to smooth it out. What a difference the lashes make. Look what a difference. Now, I have learned to bring my glue with me when I go to work. Let me tell you, one day I sneezed big time. My lash blew right off. Okay, I put my little tool right in the center there. Then you look down into a mirror. And let's get this dude on. And then I like to go around and just kind of touch it up. It's still curling up. Sometimes you got to do a little extra work on the inside. One tip that I can give you is use your eyeliner. It's not the right one. In that corner there because you want it all to blend together like here you may have to do the same thing over here okay that's all I'm gonna 
I do? That's all I'm going to do. There you go. Do you think that's too much for an old lady? Yeah. It takes practice messing with this glue, I tell you. I think it's okay. Yeah, it wants to come up up here. When you put the when you put the glue on as an eyeliner, I have better luck doing it that way. They don't come up that way. But you also have to be super look at that super careful. You don't want to get glue in your eyeball. going somewhere I'd probably redo this but I'm not going anywhere going to the living room stop scare me heck to death okay I'm done any questions any questions you're welcome Patty Thank you, Angie. I like pink, too. I've always liked pink. I think with my hair color change, it, you know, colors can really be different as your hair color changes and your skin and everything. Thank you, Erica. I don't think so, either. I did a commercial for Glamnetic, and I really made a mistake. I used lashes that were huge and I, the reason i was using those big lashes in that is i wanted everybody to see them for one thing because i did it from my phone camera but they were big and so people made fun of them they said i was too old i got a lot of a lot of lot 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 of good comp i think i use these they said i look like i had spiders on my eyes <laughs> i like these because if you have hooded eyes um you can see your eyeshadow and thing through those little spaces, you know. They're cool. They don't look like spiders. Okay, everybody has a, a hi, Paulette. Everybody has a an opinion, you know. Me neither, Nancy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Use the code Glam Mama. And I think they may even, I don't know if they have a sale going on right now. Sometimes they have sales going on. But my code is Glam memo and they chose that i didn't they're sweet people this young couple owns the company their secretary is really well they have nancy they have kits so i would say the first time you'd want to buy a kit because that comes with your you get your magnetic uh liner uh if you don't have any magnetic liner, then no, you just buy the lashes. But if you don't have the magnetic liner, and their liner has new and improved liner. Uh, I think they've got black and they've got brown. The brown may be out of stock now. I'm not sure about that. But, uh, yeah. You do, you do need the liner. But you don't have to buy it if you have it. If you already have some uh but they have kits where you can get lashes and liner and these lashes let me tell you the lashes are uh if you take care of them they are um hi esmeralda barbecue what and grape jelly what grape jelly are you kidding, Nancy? Do you have a recipe for that? I never heard of such a thing. Hi, Teresa. I'm bouncing all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anybody. I don't think I have. Whoops. There's somebody I missed. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Erica. I was going to wave to you. I try to wave. 
Okay, guys, if you don't have any questions, then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I probably bored you enough. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, Patty, thank you. Oh, we did meet? Oh, Patty, I'm going to have to check you out. Thank you for watching, girl. That was a fun day, wasn't it? It just wasn't long enough, though. Shoot, it was over before I knew it. I know, Angie. Some of them were, uh, some of them were downright rude. But you know, the thing is, people came back. If somebody said a nasty remark, somebody came back and jumped all over them. And I mean, it was like they were fighting. One, one lady says, "I went and looked at you. You've got a lot of nerve." Blah blah blah. <laughs> And I said, uh-oh, I, I tried to be sweet through everything and tried to ensure that the only purpose of the commercial was to show how easy magnetic liner could be, that if I could do it at my age, anybody else could do it too type thing. That's what it was all about. But they made such a big deal about the big lashes and about me being old. So I contacted uh, Glamnetic and asked them if they wanted to go ahead and pull it down because, I mean, there was like the last time I looked, which was a couple of days ago, it was 137,000 views. I don't know where they posted that thing. I had no idea they were going to do that either. They just asked me to do a video and uh, a demonstration. And then, knowing me, I decided I'd use them great big lashes, thinking they would show up better in the video. <laughs> they showed up all right. Anyhow, most everybody was sweet and uh, very thoughtful, but there was some really mean people. There's mean people in this world, guys. Bullies. Mean bully adults. It's a shame. Well, anywho. Alright. I'm going to let you go. If you don't have any questions, I'm going to say toodaloo. Angie, how's your mama? How's your mama? How's your mama doing? Right quick, before I forget. How's your mama doing? I hate delayed. I hate delayed. Two bottles of barbecue sauce, one jar of grape jelly, add chicken, and cook in a crock pot. That's all you do. <sighs> I wonder if you could cook that. I wonder if you could cook that in an Instapot, Nancy. I have an Instapot. Man, it is awesome. If you don't have an Instapot, you need to get an Instapot. I wonder if you could cook it in an Instapot, though. Cooks in three hours, though. Okay, so what kind of... Oh, shoot. I don't have two bottles of barbecue sauce. Ah, it's always something. I just, just spent $200-something dollars at the store yesterday. Oh, yeah. I should have done that. Maybe I should. <laughs> yes, that was funny. Yes. That would have been. That would have. That would have done it. <laughs> yeah hysterical. I could do the pink today. Yeah, I could. I don't have the magnetic lashes, but guys, before I go, look at these. Angie reminded me of them. Just a second. I bought these just for pure D fun. I did wear them to Walmart one day. <laughs> Let me show you. But the last ones I pick up. Uh, it's going to be the last ones. Look here. <laughs> let me, I'm not going to put it on because I don't have the magnetic liner, but let me hold one up. It looks like you have eye line. I mean, it looks like you have pink eyeshadow and it's the eyelash. I'm just going to hold it up. <laughs> Look at there. See? What's it hanging on to? It's hanging on there. Yeah, I really... Oh, man. that I didn't even think about that. Shoot. That would have been hysterical. Or I should have had pink hair. Or purple hair or something. Now, these, if you're interested, these are called... 
Ecstasy X. I know that's going to be backwards, but it's X, ugh, Ecstasy X. <laughs> that's funny. Sitting right on top of that. I love the people that own this company, though. They are so... Oh, shoot. I just took my other lash off. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Those people that run this company, they are so sweet. Just a young couple. I don't know. I don't really know anything about the background. She's sweet and beautiful. Not gonna stick now. Takes practice. Any of it does. Okay. All right. I'm really gonna say bye now. I will talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow because I gotta get ready to go to that birthday party tomorrow. It is. We missed my older sister's birthday, and then it turned around to be a brother's birthday too. So we're gonna combine the two. Yeah, they do look good, don't they? I thought, that's funny. Oh, neither is John, Angie. John doesn't seem to be getting any better at all, which I guess, I don't know why. I keep wishing and thinking I'm going to wake up and he's going to all of a sudden be better. <sighs> I guess it's not going to happen. Yep. John doesn't want to do anything. Angie, he doesn't want to walk. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. You know, and that's not good to do that. I'm going to try that, Nancy. Two bottles of barbecue sauce, one jar of grape jelly cooked in a crock pot for three hours. I'm going to try it as soon as I get enough barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. I love you. MarshaHolland.com uh, and Glam Mama. Talk to you later. Bye. I love you. Thanks.